What's going on guys? This is Waylon Martin with Bodybuilding.News. Today's segment is called Three Things, where we highlight three moments in a bodybuilder's career. These are just random tidbits that we find about random people, sometimes positive, sometimes negative, just depends on the athlete. Hopefully they're... By now, the sexual escapades of Kai Green involving a grapefruit are known to even the casual bodybuilding fan. However, that wasn't the only produce video produced involving Kai. Yes, there was another video involving a watermelon this time. Although lesser known, it's been circulating on the internet for years now. It was produced by the schmo bodybuilder-oriented website Muscle Hunks. In the scene, Kai can be seen violating the watermelon on a stool. And though we can't show the complete clip, we can imagine that it looks something like this. In the past, Kai has worked for Jimmy Z of Jimmy Z Productions, an East Coast based company that puts on shows targeted for gay audiences. Often these shows feature up and coming bodybuilders, Kai being no exception. Of the main notable moments in Kai's checkered public history, one of particular note is this at Jimmy's event, the towel incident. In this clip, a scantily clad Kai is dancing around on stage, and at one point takes a towel and wraps it around the head of the patron. He then proceeds to draw the patron's head near his crotch. What happened under that towel is anyone's guess. Side note, I had to go six pages before I could find a picture to use for this video from the website, as I knew at least one bodybuilder featured. Y'all are nasty, but it's okay, I really don't care. It really just goes to show how common the practice is within this industry. Kai may not even regret these decisions, as they served as a means to an end and got him to the point where he's at now. And we can't necessarily say that they have hindered his career any more than his physique or anything else would have. Here's a picture of Kai doing a guest posing as a lion at a Jimmy Z production. And here is Kai doing a guest posing for a bodybuilding audience also as a lion. If there's one event that Kai would like to redo under different circumstances, it would be the 2014 Evil Pro in Prague. His exit from this contest would cause severe political damage within the IFBB and were the first signs of dark storms ahead leading into the 2015 Olympia where he wouldn't compete entirely. Just weeks after gaining second place to Phil Heath at the Olympia and the returning reigning champ in Prague, Kai was a heavy favorite leading into the competition. Dennis Wolf, however, had other plans. From the jump and based on the movement of the athletes by the judges, it looked like Kai was going to land in the second place spot in the pre-judging, with Sean Rode in a close third. Though Dennis Wolf had finished behind Kai just a few weeks ago at the Olympia as well as Sean Roden, he had had a phenomenal start of the year winning the Arnold Classic and his stock too was rising. While Wolf was at 95%, Kai was at 90% as well as Roden. And if Kai had brought the package he had in 2013 and 2014, it would have been a sealed deal for him. However, he didn't and in doing so he left the door open for the judges. Not to mention it doesn't help that Dennis is European and these are European based judges for the most part. If Kai were to lose his contest, it would significantly hurt his stock as a bodybuilder competitively. And though it may not in the eyes of the fans, it would the judges and the people that run this industry. But what he did instead of accepting taking the L was he quickly came up with the excuse to exit the contest before the night show, citing stomach issues. Uh, exactly what went on today. Apologize for not being able to come out and compete this evening. Earlier today, it was, I found myself wrestling with a bout of sickness that made it very, very difficult to continue my protocol. This is something that many felt was an excuse for a disappointing show. So guys, that's it for our three things segment on Kai Green. We'll be doing more of these with other athletes in the future. Again, sometimes they're gonna be more positive. Sometimes they'll be highlighting the negative. I'm looking forward to the guys such as Craig Titus, for example. Also, if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out the site itself, bodybuilding.news, Facebook, etc. This is Waylon with bodybuilding.news, out.